Welcome to our latest video, our travel mashup, finishing off on our last two weeks in Morocco. Oh, we've got some treats for you. Just wait till you see these fabulous highlights. We have come from the heady heights of Marrakesh through the mountains into Awazud waterfalls, staying at the lovely Auberge camping, which is really smashing. You should see the view from our oh, spot here. It is amazing. I'll show you later. Yeah. lovely man in Wazud waterfalls is cleaning off the bamboo to make the fences. How amazing. Now it's time to get up close and personal to these gorgeous waterfalls. You can take one of these lovely little boats and go across the river for just five dirham or you can go and have a free shower and the grand tour, which will cost you 20. I actually think we're going right through it. Oh my God. <laughs> I thought it was going to be a bit more touristy, although in fairness, I think we've come before the crowds and uh, it's actually really lovely. And it's uh, almost April, still so loads of water from all the uh, mountain snow. I actually really enjoyed it. And after a long day's hiking, what's a boy to do? Well, have a swim, of course. He might make a little bit of a fuss about it, though. The ghost. The source of the Uzud Cascade. Despite the fact that the river seems to go on through the gorge, this is where it all begins. Hey, gorgeous girl. Look, you're so, you're super cool. We love you. You're super cool. This is fabulous. After a very memorable time at Camping Zebra, it was time to move on. And as is our wont, we decided to take the back roads. The P3105 and 3100. Oh my goodness, we have traveled some amazing roads in Morocco and these two were about to be one of the best. We just had to stop. The scenery is stunning. And of course, Mars is doing the driving at the minute. Hello. And I just wanted him to be able to see this. It's it's just incredible. Take a look. After having a night at Bin El Wudan, uh, we decided to move on because there's not actually very much um, overnight camping as we head north towards uh, Arzu. So we're giving it a good push today. We're going to go up through the mountains uh, on a couple of our roads. Uh, we'll show you what the footage looks like, hoping the roads will be okay. You never know in Morocco. We ain't going nowhere fast. This is awful road. This road's gone so bumpy, me flat white's turned into a cappuccino here. Cappuccino? Cheers. Cappuccino, as they say in <laughs> Lancashire.
After all our troubles a couple of years back with our radiator and our EGR valve and our new engine we have to have fitted, I do get a little bit nervous when the radiator goes on and um, it doesn't turn off. We're all good. We're all good? Yes. You sure? Yes. Everything's gone very quiet in the van. This is what happens. If something like this goes wrong, well, not that anything's has gone wrong, I'll go very quiet. I'll be back. Whoa, slow down, fella. So, what have we learned today? Number one, not all our roads in Morocco were built the same. Sometimes the off the beaten track routes, number two, are the most beautiful, although not always the most motorhome friendly. And three, we really, really miss the internet. We've got a fabulous spot, which is, albeit on the main road, we're tucked away in the mountains, fantastic spot, where well, we've got no internet. So after two hours on the road, with no more overnight stops, we ended up at the Carrefour car park in Canifra. That'll do just nicely. Now on to Azru and some monkey business. Well, after the sandstorm of the last two days, hello, Smiley Miley. Are you here? Uh, we're staying at Euro Camping, and finally, the weather has allowed us to come and take a little exploration down into Azru. Explanation. I did fancy him picking that up. Anyway, let's get back to it. So we've seen the monkeys, which of course are absolutely delightful. Now we're going to go and check out the town. This is where we're going. Into town. Into town, he says. The town that's down there, it's certainly going to beat walking on the road. Having a quiet coffee in town, we got chatting to one of the locals who invited us down a very dark street to see his artisan shop. What a little Aladdin's cave. And having spotted one of the Berber guitars, we were treated to a private little concert. <laughs> There we go, they're the famous rock after which Azru is named. Azru in, uh, in Berber is the rock. So plenty of parking if you want to come down here uh, on, your, on your way through to seeing the monkeys. There's plenty of parking for motorhomes uh, just over there. So this is uh, something worthy of note. There are two taxis in Azru. One is the green taxi and they're the local taxis and then, oh look, as if by magic, there's a white one which will take you further out. That will actually take you to Meknes if you wanted to. So we found ourselves a white taxi. There's already some people in and from the centre of Azru up to the camping, it's only going to cost us 10 dirham. That's about 80p. arrived at the lovely Dimon Vert, the green diamond, which is just about half an hour away from Fez. And you've got lots of different options there for where you can park. There's a fabulous guy there who will sort you out with a shuttle bus into the town, which we will be doing tomorrow. It's 50 dirhams per person each way. For a return journey, you're talking 200 dirham, 
which is about what 18 pounds something like that here we are the motoromas and endless on wheels we are taking a day trip into fez so we have our driver whose yeah. name is Mohammed. Mohammed. Another Mohammed. Another Mohammed. <laughs> Welcome to the Motoromas TV yeah. YouTube channel. We're in, uh, was it week three of Ramadan? Uh, Ramadan Kareem, by the way. Yeah, Ramadan, thank you. <laughs> uh, and how, how goes it for you? Yeah, it's good. Sometimes I feel too tired because you know we're fasting for 15 hours. Yeah. So we will wake up very early and working for many hours. Yeah. yeah. So we're waiting the sunrise come or the sun down yeah. to eat yeah. and You're... begin a new, new life. A new life. <laughs> So we're uh, we're in the main tanneries. We've been given some mint. Could be interesting. Wait. There go. This is one of those places that, irrespective of how you feel about what they're doing, is still fascinating. The oldest tannery in Africa. So the first set of wells are a mixture of pigeon poo which are collected by the locals and you can buy it for 50 dirham per kilo and it's got an acid in it that uh, treats the skins and then on this side all natural colours from the mountains saffron, cobalt blue, mint poppy, seed, poppy. poppy, poppy flowers just amazing and 280 families work here does it smell, darling? I know this is not smell of vision but if it was, damn, you need mint. Oh, I think it'd be that one. I love that. No, you try this on? no I don't. I don't try it on. What do you think? Is it me? It's not you. It's definitely me. No. If you want a leather jacket, do not go anywhere else other than Morocco. I mean, look at that. Oh. La la, I need to get out of here quick. So we're in Place Seferine, which is known for its artisan copper making. Yes. Oh, we've just had lunch here and the sounds and the smells coming from the copper making. Oh, hang on, mind out for the donkey. As I was saying, the smells and the sounds coming from here are just amazing. It's a really small square. There's cool in there. All sorts going on. So we've just come through the Blue Gate, very famous in, um, I was going to say Meknes then, of course we're in Fez, aren't we? Uh, and found ourselves at the Water Clock Restaurant. Work 
by hand. Oui. By foot. Ah, oh, by foot? Ah. Yes, two pedals. Oh, two pedals. Oh, yeah, pedals, look, look. Look, that one, that one said, you can get lost in there. Thank you, Fez, for our amazing two days. Although now it's time to head north. We've got a ferry to catch from Tangier Med. Our 90 days are almost up. So with a little sadness, off we went via the lovely Motel Riff. We've come to Marjane for probably what will be our last shop for a few bits and pieces. Big piece of motor roaming advice. Do not come shopping anywhere in Morocco on a Saturday or Sunday. Carnage. Oh my God, it was awful. And I'll show you the car park just now. Empty. Is that, it's empty. It's empty. I'm, I'm going to be in and out like a flash. It's empty. Look. Look. It's empty. It's crazy. So there we go. Top tip from the Motoromas on board in Morocco. For a few more days only. Bye bye. Well, what a gorgeous place this is. We've been told it was nice and we've been recommending it to people even though we've not come here ourselves, although just wait until you see this. And this is a hundred dirham a night. It includes the showers, electricity, use of the pool and 20% discount in the restaurant with bread and pancakes in the morning. I'm sold. So that brings us to the end of our three months in Morocco 2023. We're just about to enter Tangier Med for our ferry. I'm not gonna cry. We really won't cry. We're not gonna cry. We did all that last night. I'm trying. bit emotional if I'm honest although we will do what we always do at the end of our trip and give you a bit of our highlights lowlights and lessons learned and I think it's probably fair to say it's been a game of two halves isn't it? It's been a game of two halves Rodney. Yeah. First half wasn't great uh, I came down with some condition that, that stopped me from bending down uh, not moving full stop moving really. Moving full stop, I couldn't drive. Money Penny had to take over the driving. And we nearly came back to Spain because of how you felt. It was touch and go yeah. until we met someone who said, Moroccan doctors are great, go there. <laughs> so we did. So we did. And within a week, I yeah. had blood tests done, uh, a diagnosis. Uh, and, and a, a plan. And a plan. Uh, and I'm still here. I'm feeling much better now, a long way to go. But that was the first half. Second half, been fantastic. From from the road trip from Taradont. Superb. Yeah, down to the desert, back up to Marrakesh. Marrakesh, I think you know by now, we've absolutely adored, especially me. And then over the Atlas Mountains, Middle Atlas, coming up through Fed. What were your main highlights for Morocco? Well, the first time we came, we didn't really do many cities, but this time we, we knocked off Rabat. Yeah. Marrakesh yeah. and Fez. Yeah, fantastic, all of them, even Taradont. The only one we haven't done is Casablanca, which we'll do next time. Yes, indeed. And I think for me, 
some of the highlights. I always fall in love with the desert and we did Erg Shigaga this time round and it was completely different to Erg Chevy. Although desert, doesn't matter how it's wrapped up, I absolutely love. What was that waterfall? Oh, Uzud waterfall. That's that nice. was just beautiful. Uh, after all the waterfalls of Croatia, you'd have thought we'd have had enough. I was ready for a waterfall. <laughs> Six weeks in, yeah, it was good. Fabulous. And some of the mountain roads have just been stunning. Absolutely stunning. And a few shockers as well, but there have. Although, I'll tell you all about that. Yeah, not too many. Morocco still has some problems to handle. They've still got, um, not still got, they've got a big uh, stray dog problem that they have to get a handle on soon. Rubbish is getting better. There's a definite policy and mindset change underway here. Uh, although one thing that hasn't changed is the generosity of the Moroccans. They are beyond kind and probably the warmest, loveliest people we've met whilst Smi we've been travelling. Smiling faces, oh. whether they've got teeth or not. It's been amazing, hasn't it? Everywhere. And it makes you smile. We wave at them, they smile back. It's just been incredible. And, and I think we'll come away, despite the first half being tricky, tricky with some amazing memories, won't we? Yes. Absolutely amazing. Second half rescued the game. Yes, indeed it did. And I personally am very sad to leave. Although we are coming back, hopefully uh, middle, early-ish December, maybe for four months this time. Yet to uh, yet to finalise all of that. I've only just broken that news to him live, live on TV. Uh, and we're really looking forward to coming back. This is. The Motoromas, signing out for now. TTFN. Au revoir, until next time. A la prochaine, Bye. as they say in France. Ta-ra. Ta-ra.